Jimmy Grattan built a hall in his father's field in Gowell in 1922. He built it so that people could dance and eat buns and watch plays and drink tea and talk. He built a hall for his neighbours in Efferna and Gowell even as far away as Dunsna with no strings attached. Just wooden walls and a good foundation and a fine tin roof with labour supplied for free. People flocked to it and danced and danced till the small hours. They came on bicycles from Longford. All the best bands played, it was a great hall altogether. But Jimmy wouldn't give it to the priests. They wanted to own it. He didn't see why that should be. It was the people's hall. For this it was burned down on Christmas Eve in 1932. For this he was labelled an anti-Christ. For this he was tagged an undesirable alien, though he was Ephraim born. For this he was deported by de Valera in 1933 for no official reason ever given. But we all know why. Jimmy challenged power with the hall where people could dance without kowtowing to anyone. Just be free. How subversive can anyone be? Jimmy Grattan dances on in Leitrim. He dances on in Ireland. We will come from far and near, be part of his quick step revolution. Front foot and Dance. I declare Ireland a land where everyone is guaranteed a solid space on which to place their feet, to assemble, to learn, to dance if they wish, in whatever way they want, for as long as they want. You may deport what you label the alien, but the Grouton idea lives on and on and on. It lives among those in fear of deportation today. It lives among the traveling community. It lives among the neglected, the left behind, the ignored. It lives among those who sweeney away from the insanity around them. It lives among those denied the chance to dance with their limbs, but who tango in their heads. It lives among those denied and those who reside in hospital beds. It lives among those on zero hours contracts, but upward only rents. It lives among those forced to beg each day for a night's shelter from the elements. It lives in the network of solidarity among communities of challenge. Challenge the business as usual. Challenge the quick book on the make. Challenge the free market fundamentalism. Challenge the same as it ever was, said in new words. Challenge to bankers long gone mad on their greed. Challenge to know the side that the bread is buttered on. Challenge to well day we'll all have to suffer. Uttered by those who make sure they don't suffer at all, at all, at all, at all. Challenge to watch the point in making a fuss. Challenge to glib docility, dressed as common sense. Challenge lives among those creating visions of renewal, visions of idealism, visions of equality, visions of fairness, visions of care, visions of public rights and public responsibilities. Visions of communal solidarity. Visions of real equal opportunities for all, wherever they may come from. Worked, crafted, achievable visions of eventual, total, individual, communal free dance. Never again will we evict into the street anyone sunken in debt, none of their making. Never again we become fine asylum seekers in open prison and call it direct provision. 
never again will we deport children and parents in the middle of the night or any other time. Never again will we do to others what was done to Jimmy Galton in 1933. Never again we rise above it. We dance. We Jimmy Galton are support to all those suffering oppression. Come into Jimmy Galton's dance hall and feel free to dance. We Jimmy Galton are support to all those supporting those resisting oppression. Come into Jimmy Galton's dance hall and feel free to dance. We Jimmy Galton are support to all those, all those everywhere who team their communality. Come into Jimmy Galton's dance hall and feel free to feel free to feel free to dance in whatever way you want. Feel free. Feel free. Feel free. Feel free. Uh -huh.